This is the high performance version of an already high performance car. Hello, this is BJ from Hearn Hobbies, and I'm going to be looking at the Ayoshima Lamborghini Merchal Argo kit. So this is the Super Veloce. This is the high performance version of an already high performance car. So for a crazy car, somehow they've been able to squeeze a bit more power out of it. So this is one of the more complicated kits, you know, it's by the thickness of the box because of the extra bits. So let's have a look inside. Okay, let's get the obvious side of the body. Like a lot of the previous cars I've looked at, this is molded in white plastic. So white plastic is easier to paint for most colors, particularly white uh, and yellows, which don't cover very well. Then, of course, if you want to paint it black, that could go over it just fine as well. Okay, so you'll notice that engine cover is um, uh, off, so that can be lifted up and down, and the door also can be lifted up and down. Pop that there. Okay, we've got this set here. So this incorporates uh, the front lights. And you've got uh, uh, the rear, what would you call this part? Guess the back end of the car. You can just sort of see, with the real car, this would be covered in uh, mesh. So you can just see the radiator fans in there. And a few other grills as well. And this is for the front air dam. Okay, here we've got the seats. So the seats are modeled in a darker grey. Makes it a little bit easier in case you don't want to paint. And then the interior, so you've got the engine bay here. So it's got the top section of the engine bay. This fits just underneath the, uh, the bodywork. So you've got this part here which will fit across the top. You've got the engine block that will fit inside here. And you've got the cam covers just there for the V12. Oh, a lot of clear bits, so quite a few clear bits and they're individual because you've got the opening doors, so you've got your door window glass here, you've got the rear window glass, you get some of the lights, then you've got the front windshield. So you notice on uh, the clear parts that have got the uh, the black, uh, oh, I'm not sure what they call it, it's uh, normally a, uh, a heat applied uh, blackening agent to stop the uh, reflections coming in. So that's all frosted, so it's easier to, to paint. And also, this kit also comes with the, uh, the window mask, so you can just stick them on and then spray paint those. Makes it a lot easier. Here we've got a set of wheels. Uh, quite huge, spoked wheels. You've got a much more wider one from the rear compared to the front. On this side here, you've got the rear vision mirrors. And then you've got the supports for the rear wing. The rear wing here. And you get the paddles here for uh, changing gears and steering wheel. Okay, over here we've got a chrome section here, which is the bottom part of the engine. So as a four-wheel drive, you've got your um, the bottom of the, the engine. So you've got the sump there, you've got the gearbox, and then this is the front end diff of the drive shafts. Part of the exhaust here as well. This one here's got mainly interior. You've got the bucket here, which takes the two seats. You've got the uh, driving column. So your, your steering wheel just going there, rear vision mirror. Um, parts of the uh, top of the, uh, the dash. Over here, you've got the, the door side frames and then another dash here. So this one on this side might have been the partial shelf, and then there's a the center console. Actually, there's the um, uh, the the step guards, and then this part here is the uh, the roof cover. Now let's finish off with the dark parts because these are all chassis components. So you've got the intakes up here for the top of the engine. You've got your disc brakes. You see how they're ventilated. I want to give that a little bit of extra. Uh, oh, you could drill out all those holes, make it a little bit nicer. Huge disc brakes. Get your suspension shocks there. Then on this side, you've got floor pan. And then the, the wheel arches, which fit over there. And here you set of tyres. 
It's a trig pattern there, really good detail. These are also traditionally rubber, so flexible. And we're getting into some body work. So this is the uh, the rear apron. You get your front here and the the front apron. And you get your pre-coloured brake and indicator lamps there too, and they're uh, transparent. Saves a lot on trying to paint the uh, the transparent evenly. Got a bit of chrome there, so that's um that would be rear I'd say. The rear lights, reflectors. Then you've got the inserts for your rear vision mirrors, so you've got the mirror effect. Over here we've got the uh, the doors, you've got your door panels, so they'll be hinged to be workable on the body. You've got all your side panels for your air intakes. You've got uh, a side apron. You've got the other side apron here, and then you've got your engine cover. And these are the rear quarter um, covers. Okay, and now that we've got a final bag here, you've got your little poly caps. These hold in the wheels, so you can pull the wheels on and off quite easily. There's a little bit of wire detail here. And then you've got a range of decals on the bottom here. And then the very last part, the white part here, they're the window masks. So you just peel those up, put them on the inside of the, uh, the glass, and you spray paint uh, the semi-gloss black around the outsides. And then you come down to the manual, so it's quite a large manual. So a lot of steps to go through. Oops. So we've got our list of colors. They're all GSI numbers. And then you have your decal guide. And then you start off by building. So you go for disc brakes, put them together onto the drivetrain, onto the chassis, put in the wheel arches. You've got your rear there, so you put in uh, the discs, suspension, wheels and tires. They're all mounted up. And then you get into the engine building. So building up the block that drops into the engine compartment. And you've got the intake that goes on top. Getting into the interior, all the seats dropping into the bucket there, doing the dash. And then you get onto the bodywork. So bodywork with the engine cover, you've got these sections here, which will help um, support uh, your doors and such. Building up all your glass, the rear end with the lenses, and then the apron. Front glass, rear wing, rear intake panels. You're doing the side aprons, the front headlights the front nose and apron then you've got the lenses here um, I guess they're more like uh, headlight covers they go on and then you're fixing the doors together with the hinge here and then you show how the hinge goes into the bodywork and then is clipped into place and then final assembly so your engine bay is attached interior Pre inside, and then the body just clips on the front and the back. And then this just shows you how the engine uh, lifts up, and that's where those wire parts are before, so that helps support the engine hood in the upright position. And then you get your parts list. So it gives you a better idea by looking at all the parts there. There's a lot inside this particular kit. So there you go, this is my um, inbox review of the. Uh, Aoshima Merchalago.